Hello, I'm Daniel Grosu, founder and chief executive officer of PetDX. PetDX is a San Diego-based molecular diagnostics company dedicated to unleashing the power of genomics to improve pet health. PetDX was founded just over two years ago in 2019, and it was a direct result of my little dog, Poppy, getting diagnosed with advanced cancer on April 1st, 2019. I'm an MD with distinction in research by training. I spent my entire career on the human side of things in diagnostics with companies like Siemens Medical, Bayer Pharmaceuticals, Johnson & Johnson. In 2011, I moved to San Diego to be the first chief medical officer of Illumina, and subsequently, I was the last chief medical officer of Sequinome before it was acquired by LabCorp. PetTX was started with the goal of bringing human-grade precision oncology and especially non-invasive tests for the detection and characterization of cancer to our pet family members. Hi, my name is Andy Flory. I'm a veterinary medical oncologist and chief medical officer for PetDX. We are a veterinary molecular diagnostic company developing non-invasive cancer detection tests for pets, and we're starting with dogs. Our flagship product is Oncocanine, a multi-cancer early detection test that enables veterinarians to detect cancer in dogs using only a simple blood draw. This can allow for earlier detection at a time when treatments can be more effective and long-term controls or even cures may be more easily achieved, and also the detection of cancer in clinically challenging cases where cancer is suspected. This is a multi-cancer test, which means it detects cancer-associated genomic alterations present in a wide variety of cancers, not limited to just a single cancer. Advances in molecular medicine over the the past two decades have revealed that cancer is truly a disease of the genome, that normal cells accumulate random genomic alterations over time, and that this is the cause of cancer. And we can detect this altered or abnormal DNA in the blood because as cells die by normal mechanisms such as apoptosis and necrosis, they release DNA into the bloodstream. This DNA gets broken down into fragments, and these fragments found in the blood outside of a cell are called cell-free DNA. A technology called next generation sequencing can look at these fragments of DNA and if genomic alterations in cancer related genes are present, this is indicative of the presence of tumor cells in the body. This is called liquid biopsy. The way the OncoK9 test works is that PetDX sends a kit to the veterinarian which contains everything needed to pull and send the blood sample back to us. There's no special handling required for the blood tubes. These tubes keep the blood sample stable for seven days at room temperature. The kit is then overnighted back to our lab where the sample is processed, the DNA is extracted and sequenced, and then proprietary bioinformatics algorithms are applied so that a report can be written and sent to the veterinarian which indicates whether a cancer signal is detected. Onco K9 is for dogs who are at higher risk for cancer. It is recommended as an annual screening test for dogs that are eight years and older and or belong to breeds that are highly predisposed to cancer. It can also be used for cases in which cancer is suspected as an aid in diagnosis. Future clinical uses of Oncocanine include targeted treatment selection, meaning using the test to select the best therapy for that particular patient treatment response monitoring during cancer therapy to detect whether a patient is responding to their therapy, minimal residual disease detection to allow detection of whether cancer is still present in the body after surgery, and then after cancer therapy is complete, recurrence monitoring to detect whether the cancer has come back or spread. As a veterinarian, I'm so excited to see how liquid biopsy will revolutionize our ability to detect, monitor, and manage cancer in pets. As I started looking into this as a business opportunity, one of the first statistics that got my attention was the fact that dogs have a tenfold higher annual incidence of cancer compared to humans. And initially, this struck me as almost unbelievable. But then it clicked. Both dogs and humans have about the same lifetime risk of cancer. About one in three humans and one in three dogs will develop cancer at some point during our lives. However, dogs live much shorter lives, so they need to compress that lifetime risk of cancer into a few short years of incidence. That's what leads to statistics such as the fact that there are about 6 million new cancers diagnosed in dogs each year in the U.S. in a population of less than 90 million dogs. 
whereas there are less than 2 million cancers diagnosed in humans in a population of over 330 million people in the U.S. The problem is that in both dogs and humans, much cancer gets diagnosed late. In humans, at least, we have certain cancers for which there are established screening paradigms. We have pap smears for cervical cancer, mammograms for breast cancer, CT scans for lung cancer. In dogs, there are no established screening programs for any cancer. And unlike humans, dogs can't really complain when they just have a faint discomfort that might send them to the doctor. We, their humans, only notice there is something wrong. And unfortunately, in the vast majority of cases, these cancers get diagnosed too late in dogs when the prognosis is poor and treatment options are limited. We know, however, from human space that early detection saves lives. The earlier you can detect a cancer, the easier it is to achieve a cure by usually surgery when the cancer is still circumscribed to the organ of origin, or at least achieve much better long-term control of the disease. 40% of U.S. households have a dog as part of the family. When a dog is diagnosed with cancer, it's not only the dog that suffers, it's the entire family that suffers. Our goal at PetDX is to bring the latest technologies available for early detection of cancer in humans through next generation sequencing and applications of genomics to take care of cancer in our dog family members the same way that we are now able to take care of cancer in our human family members. Cancer is by far the single biggest cause of death in dogs and therefore represents the single largest greenfield opportunity in veterinary medicine. We launched our Oncocanine product in two major clinical use cases, screening for early detection and aid in diagnosis. On the screening side, the product is recommended for annual screening in dogs eight years and older and in dogs from highly predisposed breeds, even if they are younger than eight. Taken together, we estimate that about 30% of the 90 million or so dogs currently alive in the US would fit this intended use population, meaning about 30 million dogs. The test is also recommended as an aid in diagnosis for dogs who present with clinical signs that are suspicious for cancer. With 6 million dogs actually newly diagnosed with cancer each year, it stands to reason there are at least 10 to 15 million dogs each year who go into the vet where cancer is one of the top three items on the so-called differential diagnosis of the clinician or short list of diagnoses that this patient might have. So that, of course, represents a large opportunity on its own. When we put all these numbers together, we estimate a total addressable market of over 30 billion in the US alone with a serviceable addressable market of over 10 billion at market maturity with full penetration. One of the remarkable aspects of the veterinary market is just how recession resistant it is. If you look at the past few recessions, you literally cannot tell by looking at the pet spending or veterinary spending when the recessions took place. The most recent recession due to the COVID pandemic was no different. Many shelters emptied as people were stuck at home and adopted pets. And many companies that are active in the veterinary space actually had a record year and in the Q1 of this year, a record quarter exactly during this pandemic period. At PetDX, we see the early cancer detection space as being the single biggest unmet need and therefore the single biggest opportunity in veterinary medicine today. We conservatively estimate that by the end of 2025, just under 1% of dogs in the US will be tested by the Oncocanine test at the then price of approximately $300. That would mean an annual revenue figure of nearly $300 million. This is a space where publicly traded companies in the liquid biopsy arena are currently trading at revenue multiples of 20x to 30x and that just highlights the tremendous long-term value creation potential. Thank you for watching this video and for learning more about PetDX and our mission. Through our research, education, and commercialization efforts, we aim to make the world a better place for pets and for the humans who love them.